Hello everyone, my name is One Who Gets Bread. Good evening to everyone and Happy New Year! We're uh, almost approaching 12 o'clock US Central Time, so it's almost time to usher in 2022. And it's been a crazy year. Hope everyone's year has been alright, even with the pandemic. I hope everyone's able to stay safe, have um, a blast with, you know, friends and family. And, you know, just be there for each other throughout this year. I hope everyone's year was okay. I um, hope 2022 will all continue to do well and stay safe and really bring our friends and family closer and spread positivity and defeat this pandemic. Um, a lot of other crazy stuff has been going on this past year and so, but... I do hope that 2022 will be a fun, wonderful year where we solve a bunch of these issues and that we could all come together once again. All right, without further ado, my name is One Who Gets Bread. Thank you for joining the stream. Happy New Year to all of you. Right now, we are going to be streaming some Pokemon Shining Pearl in the Nintendo Switch. As always, if you like my content, if you're interested in seeing more Pokemon or music-related content, I also play some other video games, but... The two main things are Pokemon and music. If you like those two things, please drop a follow. It's really appreciated, and I thank you for all the support and the positivity. It's been amazing, guys. All right, without further ado, let's get into Pokemon Shining Pearl. We are loading... Alright, we've made it to Pistoria City. I do apologize about the quality of the video. Right now, I have to switch to a different device that isn't as good picking up the quality of the switch screen. Just in case one of my friends calls me for something that we are. I was trying to ask him about something, so I'm just keeping my other device right now where I usually stream right next to me to just in case if he calls about the thing um I actually might have to switch to it because of how blurry this thing is let me try and readjust before we get started I do not want the stream to be all blurry it looks like it needs a little bit to warm up I think we're all, we're all right how it is right now you could at least, yeah, okay, we're we're all good. False alarm. Anywho, so right now we're in Pastoria City, and it has a water-type gym. Here's our team right now. We have an empty slot on our team because I was trying to catch a Magnemite. I needed more electric types in my team, so I was looking for one, but I wasn't able to find any. Uh, we could go and search for one, but I would like to actually just get this gym battle over with. I do have two Magnemite right now with me. They're in the box, so let's go and retrieve them. Let's go on the PC. Here's what Pokemon I have as of now. There's one of our Magnemite. We'll move him into our party, like so. Here's what else we had. So I did a few global trades. I got this Jirachi from someone. Let's see the summary. So I got a Jirachi from someone. Well, now we lost it. It's right there. I just moved around the, the joystick. It does that. Alright, so we have this Jirachi now. Oh, well, there we go. And yeah, so we have a Jirachi from one of the events. If you have Sword and Shield save data in your Switch, you could get a Jirachi in Floroma Town. Just talk to the elderly couple there, and we'll be able to receive a Jirachi. Anywho, we also got a Skunk Tank from one of the trades. Quiet Nature. So it'll look like that. Aftermath and those attacks. And our last one was a Bulbasaur. I was very proud when I got the Bulbasaur from a trade. It's a Japanese one. I might use Masuda method on it for a shiny. Um, but right now, yeah, there's their Bulbasaur. Other than that, it's just been the same old, same old Pokemon in my box. 
I'll be at a few changes. I was trying to get a Scyther, but no one wanted to trade in me, so I have a bunch of Pinsir now. I also still have a bunch of Ralts and Curlia. I still have a bunch of Mistrigus if anyone's interested. Alright, let's get to the gym battle. In beautiful Pastoria City with our Great Marsh. There's the Great Marsh. It's like a big old wetland where you could find different Pokemon. We could check it out quickly here. Let's go to top level. And we could use these binoculars to see what Pokemon are out in the Great Marsh. Put a hundred Poke Dollars in it. You could see what Pokemon. So it looks like we have Meryl, Bidoof. Hoot Hoot, Bidoof, Wooper, and that's about it. We could also go into another binoculars and see what's in this one. Bidoof, Wooper, Hoot Hoot, Azuril, Psyduck. Everything there is same old story except for the Meryl and the Hoot Hoot. We'll have to try there some other time, but right now let's go and get the gym. I might switch over to the other thing I'm filming this. I do not know. It is working, but it's just the lighting. I think that's what's making it blurry. Here comes the Astoria City Gym, and once again it's a water type gym. As you can see, there's this big old pool area. All these buttons and floaty things for the pool. The gym leader is Wake, uh, I mean Crasher Wake. He's a master of water type Pokemon. I'd say you've got guts if you try to face down water types with fire or ground type Pokemon. But that part I'll leave up to you. Go and have some good battles. I did have a Hound Doom on my team. I was thinking of bringing him along, but I was like, oh no, I don't want to be that crazy. All right, let's go and check out the gym. Looks like we have these flotation barriers that we'll need to use to lower and raise the water level so we can actually move around. Like so. And it looks like we'll just be doing a different combination of those buttons to get to the gym leader. He's right there. So again, we'll just be changing the water pressure to get across this gym, and we'll actually battle all the trainers we see. We won't try and avoid any of them this time. We need the experience points and the money. So that's our plan. Okay, first trainer is this tuber. My body isn't the only thing I work on toughening up in here. I also work on my Pokemon and my spirit. Here comes our first water type battle in this gym. Right now I have a Luxray. In between streams today, my Luxray evolved from the Luxio. I also caught a Drifloon. If you saw on my team earlier, there is a Drifloon now. And our Curlia. This is a different Curlia from last stream. This one I'm trying to get to Gardevoir. We also have our Swablu very close to evolving. Our Roselia is still there. And there's our aforementioned Driftbloom, Driftloon that I'm trying to get into the Driftbloom. Um, I caught him this morning. I caught her, I should say, this morning. And yeah, let's go. Oh, wait, it wasn't this morning. I'm getting it mixed up. I got, got the Driftloon in the afternoon. What am I saying? Anywho, let's start this off with a Thunder Fang. Oh, it avoided the attack. I wasn't expecting that. That's crazy. Alrighty, let's try another Thunder Fang. It's super effective. We gained experience points. Very nice. Tuber Jackie is defeated. Wow, trainer. You just might be tougher than our gym leader. Oh, I hope so. Let's see if we're actually tougher in the real game. Not just showing, not just talking. Let's see if we're good at the Pokemon battles in this gym with showing and talking. 
Okay, let's fill her up again with all the water. This time, we will try to go this way, maybe? No, we cannot. Alright, let's try it. Let's try a different approach. Let's push that water level down. Oh, I think we could go behind, can we? We could use that one too, I guess. How did we even get down here then? Hmm. Okay, let's try that button. Come on. I can't get across. There we go. Let's try that button. Oh, we still can't go there. Hmm. Oh, here we are. Let's use this approach. Nope, we can't. Let's lower everything again. We might be missing something. Oh, wait, that doesn't help us at all. Let's just go this way. Let's see what happens. Can't go there, but we can go this way. There's a green button. Let's push it to fill up all the water again. We still aren't high enough to get over to this side or to the side to the gym leader. We can, though, try this route. And we see a sailor here that we have to battle. Alright. I've traveled all over the globe while raising Pokemon. This is the gym I've chosen. You'll find it a handful for sure. Water types. Very good defensive type, actually. Only weak to electric and grass. And that one ice type move, freeze dry, but other than that, they're only weak to two types. Let's go, Luxio. We have a four times super effective advantage against this Wingull. Let's use a bolt switch. Let's get some other players in here. Wingull fainted. Luxio, Luxray, not Luxor, Luxio. It's a Luxray now. Went back to me. Here's some experience points. Let's switch over to the Roselia. Let's move our Pokemon around so we could have a, a feel for different Pokemon in this battle. It's another Wingull. We might want to switch. We might want to actually switch to someone else because the Wingull um, can use a flying type attack. But let's see what happens if we use Giga Drain. Oh, we still get a one hit KO. Very nice. Swablu's about done to level 35, and we defeated the sailor. You, you're a kind of, you're a kind of tough, class tough. Alrighty, let's go to our next battle. Let me check if I have the amulet coin. I got the amulet coin that doubles prize money, and yeah, I do. I right. have it equipped. I thought I changed it from last time. I guess I didn't. Okay, now we could tiptoe over here. Looks like all these spaces are now filled up, and we have a tuber on that side. Maybe maybe she's the sister of that other tuber on there. I want to become a strong trainer like Crasher Wake. Tuber Caitlin, and she has two Pokemon. And Azuril. Which is a normal fairy type, but it comes it becomes a water type Pokemon Meryl, so that's why it's in this gym. Let's use a Thunder Fang. One hit KO. Here comes the Meryl. Now this one is a water type. It's a water fairy type, in fact. It's actually pretty strong if you get an Azumarill, which is its evolved form. You give it huge power and you give it Aqua Jet as a strategy you could use, or Play Rough. Play Rough is another great attack for Azumarill. You need a very physical Azumarill set to use it in competitive. Grown, you're too much. 768. Oh, Swablu's evolving. Wonder what it'll turn into. Maybe another bird, perhaps? Or do I sense something dragon like from the evolution? It became Altaria. That's a dragon type. 
Our little birdie has grown up into a dragon. Tario wants to learn to move Dragon Pulse. Yes, let's forget an old move. Let's forget, um, hmm. Seeing your s Safeguard's a pretty good move, actually. Uh, Cotton Guard. It looks like it's going to need more special defense. Hmm. Safeguard. Yeah, let's forget Safeguard. Or what's worse, a uh, status condition or defense? Uh. Oh wait, no, that one triplicates defense. Let's do safeguard. Altaria forgot safeguard and it learned Dragon Pulse. Alrighty. Let's keep going. There's a fisherman. Let's push the water levels down again. We could battle. Let's battle the fisherman. I've landed the most fish Pokemon in the world. I'm next. I think this guy has caught him all the fish Pokemon. Fisherman Eric. Here comes Goldeen. Has some Kanto fish, it looks like. Here's my Luxray. Oh, do you know what? Let's try and let's try and use the Or maybe it's too late now, but I want to see the Drifloon attack some people a little bit. So one hit KO and the Goldeen. Drifloon's near evolving. Here comes a Barboach. Very interested in Pokemon. It evolves into Whiskash, which is based off a Japanese legend about a giant catfish that causes earthquakes. Let's try our Drifloon. Let, let's see what it could do. You know what? Let's try it out. Drifloon is one of my favorite Pokemon. Can't wait till this thing becomes one. Mudslap won't have any effect. Let's try a payback. We could have gone with Shadow Ball, actually. I think we should have gone with Shadow Ball. Here comes Water Pulse. Shouldn't be too damaging. Here's our Shadow Ball attack. A stab Ghost type attack with a chance to lure special events. That thing looks scary. Here's Water Pulse again. We're gonna tank it. And we could use our Hex Attack, I think. Are we... Let's try it. Yeah, let's try our Hex Attack. Let's get some Stab in there. There we go. Barboach fainted. Good job, Jifloon. Get some experience. Here comes a Gyarados. A big, nasty Gyarados. It's going to use Intimidate. We could switch Pokemon out because this Gyarados is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, let's, let's try the Altaria. Alrighty, so now this is like a battle between dragon-like Pokemon. We have an actual dragon, which is the Altaria, versus the Gyarados, which is modeled off a dragon. Okay, guess which one. This would be a cool, funny quiz to do on your friends or people who don't know about Pokemon. Um, which one is the dragon type in between these two creatures? The bird or the serpent, sea serpent looking dragon thing? Which one do you think is dragon type? I bet they're going to be surprised to learn that the bird is actually dragon type and not the dragon sea serpent thingy. It ain't a dragon. It's just water flying. Anywho, let's try a dragon breath. Let's get rid of that substitute. You get the substitute to fade, alrighty. And it's going to use Whirlpool, so we're going to be trapped in a waterly whirl storm for a little bit. We shouldn't be taking too much damage from it though. Okay, we didn't take that much. Let's use our Dragon Pulse. Look at that, that's beautiful. We do a lot of damage off of that Dragon Pulse, nice. Right, here's some experience points. Drifloon does level up to level 23. Very good. For sure, Eric is defeated. Being number one in the world doesn't mean a thing. 2,000 points. Okay. Uh, do we need to heal anyone? No, it doesn't look like we need to. 
should be able to walk around a bit now. Let's check out some of these other places. Oh gosh, what did we just do? Looks like we cleared this area. Alrighty. There's a sailor. I think we battled a sailor and he's the last one. And then that fisherman on that side. Like the raging sea, I crush down and wash away everything before me. That's just how I roll. Sailor Samson has a shallows. Alrighty. I like that Popeye the Sailor Man pose that he's doing. That's pretty cool. Let's use our Volt Switch. Get in a new Pokemon in here. Luxray went back to me. Let's let's try a Magnemite. Let's try Magnemite. This is our newest addition. Comes another shell offs, and it looked like it was in a dive ball. That's pretty interesting. Alright, let's use Spark. There we go. Major damage there. Critical hit. There's some experience. Here's the third Pokemon, a Wingull. Let me see if Spark has any. Um, oh, it does. It could leave the target with paralysis. All right. There's also Flash Cannon and Screech. Let's try Spark. Here comes Water Pulse. It's actually faster than this. Comes our Spark Attack. Shabam. There we go. Very neat battling. Sailor Samson defeated. That wave didn't even wash my hands. 2000. Okay, Doki. Let's fill up all the water now. And we could go fight the gym leader, or we could fight this fisherman. Let's let's fight the fisherman as well. I have mastery over the incredible power of water. You won't win. This might be a waterbender from Avatar. Fisher Walter. Walter the waterbender. Here comes Barboach. Last time when we had a Barboach in the battle, we just used our our Drifloon. Let's do the same thing. Let's let's try out the Drifloon again. Here comes the Barboach Water Pulse. Hopefully we don't get confused, and we do not. Perfect. All right, let's use Shadow Ball. Look at that. Oh, we got the special defense drop. Alrighty, here comes Aqua Tail. More powerful water type attack. Ah, oh, it is going to take us out. Does aftermath damage to our boach. Oh no, Drifloon. I'm going to go and revive it so at least I get some experience points. Let's go in here with Curlia instead. Alrighty, I'm going to go into my bag and use the revive on the Drifloon. I do just want the experience points. Barboach is going to use Aqua Tail again. It's more powerful water type attack. You're going to use our Psychic against the Barboach. There we go. A powerful telekinetic force is all that was needed for the Barboach. You get a level up on the Drifloon and on the Luxray. And it wants to learn the move Stockpile, a very good bulky move, and we'll, we, let's do that. Let's forget Focus Energy. Uh, let's... hmm. Uh, no, let's, let's keep old moves. It's going to ask Spit Up to keep old moves. We just need this stockpile. But the kid wins anyway. I'm just balled over. 2000.
All right, I think we have what it takes to take on the gym leader, Crasher Wake. What do you guys think? Let's give it, let's give it a whirl, or a whirlpool, because we're in water. Welcome. I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crasher Wake. My Pokemon were toughened up by the stormy white waters. They'll take everything you can throw at them and pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. Alrighty. Let's get it. Okay, they're sending out a Gyarados first hand. Look at that fighting stance. Man, this dude is powerful. Oh, his um wrestler's mask looks like a Gyarados kind of. That's an I I've never noticed that. It looks like a Gyarados. It has those white frill thingies. I've never noticed that. Okay, here comes a crunch to lower our defense. Here comes our Thunder Fang. It's going to be times for damage, and it's going to take clear of the Gyarados. I think that's the scariest member of his team. Unless he has a Starmie or... What other Pokemon? Oh, Kingdra. If he has a Kingdra or Starmie, that's going to be a little bit scary. Here comes a Quagsire. One of the cuter and more durable water types, in my opinion. Let's try our... We don't want to send out an electric type against the Quagsire, because it's part ground. So let's instead send out our Roselia. Quagsire is going to use much shot. It's not going to do much damage. It is going to lower our speed or accuracy. It's our speed. All right, let's go and strike back with a Giga Drain. Times four. That's going to be very powerful against a Quagsire. Also, Wishcash, Wishcash. I'm sorry. Are there two H's or one H? I think there's two H's. So, Wishcash. Um, that Pokemon is a water ground type as well. So, times four, a weakness to grass. And even Swampert, I think, is also water ground. So, that's, again, a times four weakness to grass. Level 33 on the Curlia. Oh my. Hey, that there, that was a good move. Thanks. Here comes Floatzel, the evolution of Bleasel. Let's try our pin missile attack. Here comes Ice Fang to deal with grass types, I assume, and it clears the Roselia. Oh man. Alrighty, let's try. Let's try our. Should we try Curlia? Or should we try Luxray? I want to try Curlia. Here comes Curlia. We're going to use our Psychic Attack. Here comes another Ice Fang. Oh wow, that thing is hitting hard and heavy. What a powerful move. We're going to need someone faster. Who do you think is faster? The Magnemite, the Altaria, or the Luxury? Probably the Luxury. Let's try our Altaria, maybe. We could put it to sleep and sing if we wanted to. Let's do that. Oh wait. It's going to be times four weakness, unless I'm faster. Oh gosh, what did I just do to myself? Hmm. Let's see if we're faster or not. Oh, nope, we're not faster. Ice Fang us. Oh, we're in red health. Let's see. Dragon Pulse, let's go. Let's get it. Do we get it? And we do, yes! Oh wait, it was holding on to a berry. Oh no, we were at, we had it at like 1 HP. Oh no. This is where it gets exciting. I agree. Okay, what do we do now? Um, hmm. There's the Magnemite. We could try the Magnemite. We could, let's try the Magnemite. I know what move it's going to use next. It's going to use Ice Fang. It's not going to do much against the Magnemite. Might have Brick Break. I can't remember if Flotzel learns Brick Break. Brick Break. There's a tongue twister, kind of. It's very effective against a steel type. Let's use our spark attack. It's going to use aqua jet, try and get us into the red zone, and it does manage to. Here comes our spark. 
That's gonna clear the rest of Felicity's health, and we just won the gym battle! Alright, guys. Well done, Pokemon. Magnemite's to level 33. Hopefully we evolve soon, and Drifloon's at level 25. You defeat a gym leader, crash your wake. hoo It's gone and ended! How will I say this? I want more! I wanted to battle a lot more. I did too. That was a good match. 7,000. That was a wonderful match, wasn't it, guys? Curly is evolving. Let's see what it evolves into. I wonder. Alright. It's coming. Let's see who it is. It's our own God of War. I love her color scheme. I love Gardevoir's mix of colors. The red, the white, and the green. It wants to learn Dazzling Gleam. And yeah, let's forget an old move. Let's see which one we want to forget. Charm? Calm Mind. Let's forget Charm. Or we could forget Mean Look as well. Let's forget Charm. Let's trade in another fairy type attack for that fairy type attack. And learn Dazzling Gleam. Very nice. We have any more evolutions? <gasps> Magnemite as well. All right, we're going two for two today. Magnemite is evolving. Let's see what it becomes. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All righty, and it's three Magnemite this time. No, I'm just kidding. It's Magneton. Another one of my favorite Pokemon. Magneton wants to learn the move Try Attack. Yes, let's forget a move for Try Attack. And which move? I do not know. Which one do we want to forget? Uh, let's forget Screech. Magnet Rise is actually good because it's times for ground weakness. We'll probably use that in a battle. The Try Attack, though, that's a powerful move. It could burn, paralyze, or freeze. It seems that the Undertow pulled me under. But I had a great time battling with you. Same here. You've earned this. Alright, we got our fourth gym badge, guys. Let's go, yeah! The Fen Badge from Wake. You need that Fen Badge to use the hidden move to fog and for your poke attack. They're a special, these are a special reward for me in recognition of your team's power. You obtained the stickers that Wake uses. You've obtained the TM-55s. I think that's Brine, if I'm not mistaken. They contain the move Brine, like you just said, bread. Alright. It inflicts double the damage on targets with less than half of their HP left. Use it to end battles decisively. We will. Alright, let's go and drain all the water. Hopefully it's going to somewhere sustainable, you know. We're going to drain all the water again. Hopefully it's going to somewhere sustainable. And we're going to keep going down here. And it looks like we just used the water again to fill it up so we could exit. This is a very confusing place to exit. Oh, did we just put ourselves in a pickle? I think, it, I think we did. Oh no, we didn't. Alrighty, here's the exit. There we go, we did it. We did it! Let's see the let's see the the statues. Crasher Wake, certified trainers, Alex Ryder and Bread. Okay, so if you're new to the streams, Alex Ryder was chosen instead of Barry because we were watching the TV show Alex Ryder. It's about this British teen spy who's in high you know, who's in high school and it's based off an older TV series or movie actually, but there's two seasons out right now. There's two seasons out right now, excuse me, sorry about that. The first season deals with him investigating this strange offshore school backed by a strange organization after the death of his uncle. The second one has him investigating this billionaire who has a bunch of the shady stuff going on in his company. And he has this video game that has some suspicious code in it. So they're trying to find out what the threat is and what's the big old deal with all his under-the-table dealings, you know. And he works with MI6, but usually the MI6 and him don't really get along. But he's still a spy and 
he's working alongside them to crack these big people and organizations that are just kind of like puppeting everyone else or their shady tactics. So it's, it's a pretty good series. I recommend it. It's called Alex Rider. Hence the title or character is the main character. And he's blonde, so I named a Barry Alex Rider in this playthrough because he reminded me of him. Anywho, let's exit the gym and see our new badge. Let's view the badges. And there we are. We're halfway through our playthrough, other than Elite Four, some Team Galactic stuff, I'm guessing, and, uh, yeah, becoming the champion and all the post-game stuff. Alrighty, let's get out of this gym. It's a quiet night here in Pistoria City, it looks like. Let's see if there's anything else for us to do. There's the store. We could buy some new things, so let's go in here. We could also go to Veilstone if we want to. I think we're going to do both. Let's buy some Quick Balls. These are very useful. And catch a new Pokemon we've never seen before. Alright, let's buy ten of them. Um, let's buy more Ultra Balls instead of... Um, great Balls. Let's Yeah, let's just buy more Ultra Balls. Alright, there's nothing left. We could go to the... the the TM department store actually and buy some new TMs. Yeah, let's go and do that. Oh, we need to heal our Pokemon first. Gardevoir fainted, it looks like. Oh, is it? Who fainted there? Roselia and Gardevoir did. Alright. Let's go to the Pokemon Center quickly and heal up. Alright, let's rest our Mons. Alright, they're finished. Okay, hope to see you again. Let me just check something quickly while we fly over to Veilstone. Let me let the camera warm up a bit. There we go. Let's go to the town map. Alrighty, let's fly over to Veilstone City. There we are. Comes a Star Raptor to take us off. We're back in good old Veilstone. Where, which way is the department store again? I think it's this way, right? Yeah, there it is. We're looking for the third floor, but first we have to pick up something from this floor quickly. Let's buy our Ultra Balls. I think we have enough. Let's buy ten of them. Alrighty. We still have a lot of money. Okay. Let's see our Pokemon. Oh, let me think of some TMs that we might need. Um, is there an energy ball? Can you buy energy ball here? No, you could buy solar beam, but can you buy energy ball? Let's check. I'm here to buy fire blast, thunder, blizzard, focus blast, flamethrower. That's a good move. Thunderbolt, ice beam. That's a very good move again. Solar, Psychic, Dazzling, Gyro, Giga, Hyper. Um, do you know what the move Ice Beam is actually speaking to me a bit? We might need it later on. Thunderbolt we'll need for some of our Pokemon as well. Like that Mistrevis, once we find our Dusk Stone. We will need that for sure. I don't think I'm going to buy anything right now. We just need those Ultra Balls. Let's go to the first floor again. We're here. Alrighty. Gonna go check something.
Alrighty, sorry about that. I was just checking with someone about something. Okie dokie. Let's exit. Do you know what? Let's go check out the underground. Let's see what's let's see what's going on down there. Um, we'll go on the internet underground. Alrighty. Yes, please. Okay, now we're in the underground. Let's see what the Pokemon, how strong they are now here. There's a Doug Trio. Let's see in this area what's going on. Geodude. Standard stuff. Nothing too crazy, it looks like. Is there anyone up there? Another Geodude. We haven't gotten a Graveler yet. Actually, come to think of it. But we might as well train one now, you know? There's Pachirisu. Geodude. Looks like nothing rare this time. Actually, if we catch a Skorupi, we could get one to evolve very quickly. We might actually do that. Let's go and get a Skorupi while we're down here. Oh, there's a person digging. Let's go and help him. Oh, I guess they're finished. Oh well. Let's go up here. Looks like there's Onyx and Geodude. What else is in here? There's our Skorupi. Let's see how powerful they are. It's Lux Ray, level 36, so they're pretty powerful. Alright, here comes a Thunder Fang. It's going to use Toxic. Oh no. Let's use another Thunder Fang. We get the Paralysis. Alright, so now it's going to be easier to catch. Very good. We're still affected by poison. Let's use our Great Ball. Two. Oh my gosh, we are so close. Poison Tail. Gonna take more damage from the poison. Hopefully this next Pokeball does the trick. We've used two Great Balls. Oh my gosh, no. Night Slash, oh that's a powerful move. Comes poison damage again. I'm gonna go in. Use an Ultra Ball just in case. I do not want the Luxury to die. Oh my gosh! It broke free from even an Ultra Ball. That's crazy. Comes Pin Missile. Oh no. And we got rid of the Luxury by accident. Sorry about that, Luxury. I'll heal you in a little bit. Okay, let's try our next Pokemon. Let's go with the Magneton. Let's use, let's use a great ball this time. Actually, a net ball might work. Skorupi is a bug type for all, after all. Oh. I guess not. We have one more. Let's, let's use our last one. One. Oh my gosh, this Skorupi is crazy. Here comes Poison Tail, it doesn't affect us for Steel type. Sorry about the camera, I do not know what happened there. Here comes another Great Ball. It's great that we're wasting all these Great Balls. I'm smiling from ear to ear. 
anyway, let's keep let's keep at it. I have a lot of money anyways. I could just buy more. One, two. Oh my gosh, can you just get in the Pokeball, please? Make this easier for everyone. We could do this the easy way or the hard way. Which way do you want to do it, Scroopy? Yeah, yeah, you could use all those pin missiles. Okay, let's try again. Let's not throw an Ultra Ball, let's just keep throwing Great Balls. Wow. Really? Comes Pin Missile again. Not that bad. Hit two times. I'm gonna throw another Great Ball. It's probably not gonna work. One. Yep. Let's try this one. I'm gonna try being positive now. I'm gonna say this next one is gonna actually work. Let's hope. Guys, let's cross our fingers here for this one. Sorry about the camera. I don't know what's going on. This is crazy. Okay, fingers crossed. One, two, three. And we got it. Yes! Skorupi was caught. Here's some experience points. Roselia leveled up to level 34. Let's see its summary. Quirky. Battle armor. Nice. Alrighty. I think we're gonna use that one to evolve. Let's add it to our party. And... Yeah, right now we don't need the Luxury. Hmm. I don't know. Okay. Let's just do that. I'll heal up the Skorupi. Whoa. Crazy Onyx. There's our Geodude. We can catch it. Let's catch a new Geodude. So we could evolve it. I don't have a Graveler yet. That's one of the ones I don't have. Here comes Skorupi again. Alrighty, what are we gonna do now? Let's use... Should we use an attack? Let's use an Ice Slash. Oh, not very effective, I guess. It's Earthquake. Okay. Use next Pokemon. Gardevoir, do you think? Roselia? Hmm. Magneton or Altaria. Let's try Altaria. I don't want to knock it out. I just want to do a little bit of damage. Here comes Dragon Pulse. Hopefully it doesn't knock it out. Oh, and it does. Whoops. Whoopsies. Altaria gets to level 36. Uh, let's just throw a quick ball at the next thing we see. It's probably a better plan. Uh, I don't want the Skorupi. I might get an Onyx though, I do not know. We have the item for Onyx to evolve. We have a metal we have a metal coat. Let's get to that big sandy area before we leave. Sorry again about the camera, it's just this device which I'm using for the stream isn't very good with the internet, and its camera is really stupid. I'm using a different device just to check if my friend gets back to me. So, that's why the stream looks a little bad compared to the ones I've had in the past. Oh, which Geo do? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. It looks like that one. All right. You can still see the screen. Um, it's a Geo dude, and we're just trying to catch one so I can evolve it later. Hopefully, I catch it because I don't want to damage the Drifloon. Let's use our Quick Ball. 
Oh, we instantly fail. Here comes explosion. It's not going to do anything to Drifloon, though. A massive explosion, and it doesn't do anything to Drifloon. Got three experience points. Let's encounter the other Ge the other Geodude in a bit. Let's look around here, though. There might be something cool. No, oh, it's just an Onyx. I think, yeah, well, let's catch an Onyx. Let's try and catch one. I'll throw a quick ball at it. Quick balls are the way to go if you get it on the first encounter. Oh, very close. Screech. Let's run from this thing. I don't want to get hurt. Let's try and get another Geodude, though. Let's look for an item. Sometimes there's items here. Doesn't look like there's any today. Sometimes there is, though. There's another Geodude. This is a big area. Alrighty, let's just go and counter this one. Here comes Drifloon. Here comes our Quick Ball. Oh, this one's a little bit of a weaker level. One, two, three. Let's go, we're golden. Experience points, Drifloon levels up. Let's see its summary. It's calm. Oh, this that's not a very good nature for a Geodude. You could, let's try and catch this other one then. Let's catch this other one. Let's see. Let's take our chances with this one. Hopefully it doesn't have a calm nature. Ooh, level 37. That's even a higher. That's higher than the last one. Four levels higher. I'll take it. One, two, three. Let's go. Two for two. All right. Experience. Let's see its summary. Brave. Attack and speed. Oh, that one's perfect for gyro ball. And we're not going to go that fast anyway, so that's a good one. Let's add it to our party so we can evolve it. Let's replace... Hmm, let's replace the... Roselia for now. Yeah, let's replace the Roselia for now. Okay. Alright, I think that does it for this stream right now. Thank you so much for joining in. Thank you for all the support and on the positivity. It's been amazing, guys. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for all of it. Um, if you're interested in this content, please drop a follow. I do Pokemon music, Marvel games, and some Skylanders as well from time to time. I'd love to see you around. Please check out my channel more and drop a follow if you're interested. Alright, Happy New Year again to everyone. Let's hope 2022 is a good year. I hope everyone has a wonderful upcoming year. hope everyone has a year filled with happy memories, good health, and prosperity. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Please have fun. Stay safe. Please get vaccinated. Please do something nice for someone. Happy New Year, guys. I'll catch you guys later. See you guys. Thank you so much.